Now, it seems that this whole concept of the Trinity seems to be quite a sticking point for non-Christians. seems to be that you just can't seem to understand what's going on with the whole Trinity thing, so you just dismiss Christianity. Well, I'm going to explain it to you now. It, it's complicated, but I'm going to explain it to you so you can understand it and then you can move on to converting, okay? It, it's like this, all right. You got God, and then there's Jesus, and then there's the Holy Ghost. Now, these these are three separate things, uh, but they're not. You know, but they are, but they're not. You see, but they are. Now, now there's 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 God, and then Jesus and the Holy Spirit, and then God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. They wanted to, you know, give people an out. So, so the Father, uh, God, who's the Son, had Jesus. You see what I'm saying? And He put Jesus on earth. Okay, so God stayed in heaven and he put Jesus on earth. Now it says in John 10.30 that I and the Father are one. Okay, so, so that just shows that Jesus is God and God is Jesus and God who stayed in heaven put Jesus on earth who is himself God so therefore God stayed in heaven and Jesus went on earth and Jesus stayed in heaven and God went on earth and God stayed in heaven while he also went on earth as Jesus went on earth and in heaven. And they were both in, in heaven and earth, but they were in neither as well. You see what I'm saying? And then it goes on in John to say in John 14:28, I go unto the Father, for the Father is greater than I. You see? So the Father, who is the Son, is greater than the Son, who is the Father. Alright, so Jesus is God, and God is Jesus, and God is greater than Jesus, so God is greater than Jesus, and Jesus is greater than God, and God is greater than Himself, and Jesus is greater than Himself, whom are both greater than the Holy Ghost, which is less than both of them, you see. Now, then, then, Jesus dies on the cross, and He prays to God, who is Himself God, who is in heaven, who is also on earth. And then, then, Jesus dies and he descends into hell. All right. Now we know from the Bible that hell is simply where God is not. So Jesus, whom is God, descends into the place where God is not, thus making it no longer hell, but it remained hell. You see, it was hell, but it wasn't, but it was, but it wasn't, but it was. Okay. And he stays there for three days. And then he ascends up, and he takes the right hand of the Father, whom is himself the Father. Therefore, Jesus takes the right hand of God, and God takes the right hand of Jesus, and Jesus takes the right hand of himself, and God takes the right hand of himself, whom takes the right hand of the Holy Ghost, which is himself, Jesus and God. Now, these are both two entities, one to the right of the other, but they are the same entity, but they're not, but they are, you see. Now... You see how much it helps when it's understandable? When it's made understandable to you. I just described it. You have no excuse now. Now you understand, like I do, how much sense it makes. Okay? Now you have no excuse for not being a Christian. Alright? Now you know the whole Trinity thing. So go on and convert. Amen.